Hey guys, so donating your skeleton. So many people want to donate their bodies after death to aid in educational studies. However, they don't just accept any body at a medical school or a donor program. You must meet specific requirements, but one area which has a wider range of acceptance is anthropological body donation. The University of Florida program says, a short list of what we will teach from your skeleton the signs of age and process of aging, skeletal signs of ancestry, signs of health, disease, normal variation, techniques for conducting a forensic investigation, how occupations and hobbies affect the skeleton. We accept donors who are not eligible for medical anatomy programs. Donors with the following situations are acceptable. Bone breaking trauma, had an autopsy, was exposed or decomposed, had hepatitis or HIV. Now the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology at the University of New Mexico um, says, thank you for considering the donation of your skeletal remains to the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology's Laboratory of Human Osteology. Very cool, huh? What conditions might cause the refusal of a donation of my body to the anthropology program? It's a great question to ask. So here's what they said. We are required by law to refuse individuals with bloodborne diseases, such as HIV, AIDS, Ebola, hepatitis, A, B, or C. So these diseases can be transferred during the rendering process, which means during the process to get the bones ready. So what is involved in the actual preparation of my skeleton for the lab? Through a weeks-long maceration process that takes place at the office of the medical examiner, the soft tissue is removed from the skeleton. Once fully skeletonized, the remains are moved to the laboratory's repository, where each individual skeleton is housed in an archival grade box. It's possible for my family to visit my remains? Yes. As soon as the rendering process is complete, they'll be able to view the remains. That would be so cool for your family to get to come see your skeleton, I think. We ask that they call our lab to arrange an appointment so they will be, can set aside a quiet corner of our lab and lay out your skeletal remains. So he, this is another disposal method following death to consider a skeletal donation. Read the fine print, know what you're getting into, check into it ahead of time, but skeletal donation.